Hello everyone and welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to log in to our Firebase. Now we are going to learn how to interact with other users using these two functions. Uh, send message to other user is our sending channel and observe incoming events is our incoming channel. So for our sending message to other user as the arguments, we will first uh, get the data model, which I don't have here. So go to utils package and create my data model class and it's going to have four variables uh, first one is going to be a private string targets second one is let me actually copy and paste this second one is sender third one is data and the last one is private data model type which I'll create in a second here let me create my enum class of data model type and our events type of our communication is going to be uh, offer answer ice candidate and start call signal so right here let me use alt and insert keyboard and create getter and setters and also using alt and insert and create a constructor for all of them so let's go back to our firebase clients import this one and write data model and an error callback okay so to send a data model to other user we want to convert this data model to serialized version of it and add it inside the target user's uh, latest events. So to do that, using dbref dot add at listener for single value event and pass new value event listener. Uh, first, we want to check if this snapshot, the whole snapshot, uh, contains the target nodes. It means that uh, if can we find the target to start a call with. If not, then we want to throw a callback error here. So to do that, we will simply check if snapshots that child with the name of data model dot get target. If this one exists, then start the call or send the signal to other user. If it's not, then we want to just call the error callback here. And same goes for here. If something went wrong. But if it's not, then we want to use dbref and child of data model get targets, get targets, and inside the child of latest event field name, then we want to set the value of it to JSON to JSON of the data model object. So in this way, we will serialize our data model to a simple string and add it to the other user's latest event field and for incoming latest event it means we send a message inside the latest event and then we want to observe our latest event field so to do that i want to create a new callback called uh let me create it new event callback and this one is going to have a function called on new event received and it will get the data model as the income and this one is going to be the void so here i'll accept the new events as the arguments and we want to observe our latest event nodes using current username and the child of latest event field name and add value event listener not listener for single because we want to listening for new events so i'll pass the new value event listener to it and here we wanna use a try catch block exception e and then print the stack trace here to see what's wrong and inside here first we wanna get the data using objects require non null and pass the snapshot dot get value to string and then using data model create a new data model using json from json and pass the data and for the data model i use data model dot class uh, it actually has to be get value and then we want to use callback dot on new event received and pass the data model to its 
so let's go back to our main repository and use these two functions so the first one is going to be uh, public void subscribe for latest events it's going to get a new events callback callback and here we simply use Firebase client then observe incoming events and use a lambda function to get the events and using this model and switch statements of model dot get type we want to check these branches hey there is a new event and you should decide to what to do with each event so let's test this function actually and create another function called public start call and name it send call request we would have a target a string of targets and we're going to need an error callback to check if we couldn't find the user then we want to notify the ui that hey we couldn't find the user and i'll mark it as void so using firebase client dot send message to other users i'm gonna create a new data model and for the target i'll simply pass the target for the sender is going to be current username the data is going to be null and the type is going to be data model type and start call and for the callback i'll simply reset the error callback here so let's go back to our call activity and using views dot call button and attach a listener to it like this i wanna start a call request here but first let's create our main repository variable main repository and then using init block i'll initialize it main repository is equal to repository dot get instance so right here i'll use main repository send call request using views dot target username with a text text to a string and for the callback i'll simply use a lambda function like this and then create a toast that couldn't find the target simple as that and in case of receiving this derived event i'll use main repository and subscribe for latest event so i'll use a data like this it's going to be a data model we will check if this model if this data dot get type is equal to data model type dot start call then we want to switch to our ui thread I'll simply pass the lambda function for runnable and set up our views which is going to be incoming name tv dot set text data dot get sender plus is calling you and then incoming call layout set visibility to view dot visible and then set the accept button a click listener and it's going to start the call here after that we are going to dismiss the layout by incoming call layout set visibility views or view that gone this one should be view as well and for the decline button or reject button it should happen the same here so let's run our application and check it for two users actually so my two emulators are up and running let's log in with child here and the parent here as you can see both users are logged in so i wanna call child like this you can see inside the child latest events we sent an event called start the call and if i switch back to the child i should be able to see that this layout which i'll miss here let's see what's wrong here and it's because inside my start call i forgot to use the callback and pass these events to the higher level that is observing these events so let's run back our application again so let's remove these two and log in again with child and parent so let's call child 
you can see the new wind is up here and we can see that parent is calling us if i call child 2 we should see couldn't find the target because child 2 doesn't exist i can dismiss it or i can remove this again call it back and answer the call so we are pretty much ready to start signaling other user and it's time to go to our web rtc session and start creating our peer connection and be prepared to start a call then switching signals and start the call so that's it for this video till the next video see you everyone